Hi Church, obviously there's been a lot of conversation and the effect has been felt worldwide of COVID-19. At Generosity Church, we are committed to caring and supporting our church family as well as the wider communities that we are a part of. Given the ever-changing situation with COVID-19, we want to assure you that we have a response team that are continually reviewing the current information provided by the government and New South Wales Health and taking action as a church to respond accordingly. We have contingency plans in place, but just this morning, Prime Minister Scott Morrison has announced new restrictions for public gatherings. We will be carefully reviewing these restrictions and letting you know tomorrow, the 19th of March, regarding this Sunday's services. So please keep an eye out on our website and social media as we continue these updates. However, rest assured that our team is set up and ready to go with live stream options for you all. Advice from New South Wales Health is that during the pandemic, no hugs, no kisses or handshake greetings, plus trying to maintain a distance of 1.5 metres. Continuing to practice good hand hygiene, we do actually ask that you adhere to this advice during any church activity that you might be involved in. If you are experiencing flu-like symptoms or are in the vulnerable category over 60 or have a compromised immune system through sickness, this goes for staff, pastoral leadership, congregation members and guests, please stay at home for your safety and the safety of those around you. However, please notify someone as we would love to support and care for you through this season. We are a family. If you're experiencing heightened levels of anxieties, please speak to your lead pastor, a chaplain or a trusted healthcare professional immediately to get the support that you need. We are so incredibly thankful for people in the health industry who are gifted and called by God. I believe God is a God who heals, either miraculously or through the giftings that he has placed in his people. Our verse for this year is 2 Timothy 1.7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of power and love and a sound mind. I don't believe that this is a coincidence that is in a world that is currently crippled by fear, that this is the verse that God has put on our hearts for our church. You know, that we be a people that do not have a spirit of fear in these troubling times. The Bible says that perfect love casts out all fear. Perfect love comes from God and we have access to that perfect love of God. We need to show this perfect love to people in our communities, to show that perfect love to people in the supermarkets who are working so hard to keep up with the demands or the healthcare professionals who are running ragged or perhaps even the people who are crippled by fear. We have the love of God to spread in our communities. You know, one thing that's really frustrating me about this virus is the amount of airtime that it's receiving. You know, what if every believer spoke the name of Jesus just as much as the name of this virus is being spoken about? Could you imagine the miracles that would take place, the people's lives that had changed, the fear that would dissipate because the name of Jesus that is above every other name is being spoken? You know, the name of Jesus, who is our Prince of Peace, our comfort, our healer, our wisdom, that his name being spoken is greater than this virus. So church, I want to encourage you this week to speak out the name of Jesus every time you hear the name of this virus, that you combat that with the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. I'd also encourage you during this time to find ways to stay connected with each other and your community, whether this be through technology or appropriate home visits. And we will get information out to you as quick as we can with any updates that we have. But church, keep believing, keep putting the name of Jesus Christ first and keep hanging on to a God who has not given us a spirit of fear but one of power and love and a sound mind.